Happy National Pollinator Week! I'm Alex and I'm a volunteer master naturalist with Montgomery Parks. Today I'm at Brookside Nature Center taking care of the mason bees at the Insect Hotel. Have you ever heard of a mason bee? If you've taken a bite out of a crisp juicy apple or popped a plump blueberry into your mouth, then you've benefited from mason bee pollination. Today we're going to talk about what makes mason bees different from honeybees and why they're so important. These are honeybee hives. Honeybees are social bees. They're called social because they live in colonies of thousands of bees. The bees work together to build the hive, raise new bees, and make food, or honey. Did you know that Maryland has over 400 species of other bees that don't make any honey? In fact, 90% of bees don't make honey. They're solitary. At the Insect Hotel, we create habitat for solitary bees and insects. We've placed these tubes and sticks here for solitary bees to make their nests in. They're called solitary because they live and work alone. Each bee builds its own nest and lays its own eggs. The mason bee is a solitary bee species. Here's a mason bee that hatched at Brookside Nature Center's Insect Hotel. Isn't she cute? She gets her name mason bee from the way she builds her nest. Human masons build using stone, brick, or mortar. The mason bee uses mud to build her nest. Can you see which tubes have been visited by a mason bee? The mason bee collects mud and uses it to separate each egg that she lays in this tube. She puts some on the end for protection. Mason bees use lots of tubes to build their nests, so we set out fresh tubes every year. The mason bees growing inside will continue to grow all summer and winter long. They could be eaten by predators such as birds, wasps, or parasites. At Brookside Nature Center, we take these tubes in to a safe place during the winter to protect them. Then in spring, we put the tubes back and the adult mason bees chew their way out of the mud, emerge, and begin pollinating. This is how we create and maintain habitat for mason bees because we love our native pollinators. In fact, a few mason bees can pollinate an entire apple tree. They also emerge in the colder spring weather, which is when honeybees are still hibernating. As a result, farmers will use mason bees to pollinate some of your favorite fruits, like cherries, berries, peaches, pears, apples. So many of those plants flower in early spring. So the next time you eat an apple, be sure to thank your mason bees. Thanks for joining us at Brookside Nature Center.